Well, he is Mobile's Patriot of the Year. Yeah, on Veterans Day, actor James McEachin was honored not for a role in Hollywood, but for his role as an infantryman during the Korean War. Local 15's Darren Singleton joins us now. Darren, you went to the ceremony to tell McEachin's story, but he wound up telling you one. That's right. Name a hit television series from the 1970s, and Jay McEachin probably starred in it. All in the family, six million dollar man. He was even the first Amer African American to have his own show on NBC, a detective series called Tenafly. But today in Mobile, McEachin was celebrated not for his acting, but for his first love, his country, and that's where this plot really gets interesting. He was wounded during an ambush in Korea, the Battle of Old Baldy, it was called. And for that sacrifice, James McEachin received the Purple Heart and Silver Star. And today he came to Mobile to receive the Patriot of the Year Award. But McEachin brought something with him. A story about another Purple Heart, one recently found by a woman who was digging through a box of books from a yard sale. He calls her husband and says, well, honey, there's a Purple Heart and his books here. And he says, well, listen, you can't sell that on eBay. I mean, that Purple Heart is a very, very important metal, da-da-da. And uh, she says, well, I'll just find out who owns it. And thanks to the Internet, she did. That Purple Heart belonged to another Army infantryman in Korea, Lieutenant Henry Schenck. And on Wednesday at the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C., McKetchen will take part in a ceremony to return the Purple Heart to Schenck's widow. Being part of returning a Purple Heart to a family is a huge honor on its own, but this is personal for McKitchen. You see, he was actually there the day that warrior died. Well, he was my patrol leader. He was killed in action. He was killed in action, and I was wounded in action. In fact, I'm still walking around with a bullet in between the ribs now. It turns out that McKitchen had also been searching for Lieutenant Schink's family for the past 62 years. Thanks to the accidental discovery of the lost Purple Heart, and the internet, he will be able to finally connect the lingering dots to a comrade lost more than six decades ago. This is not McKitchen's first visit to Mobile. He was the guest speaker for the dedication of Mobile's Korean War Memorial at Battleship Park in 2002 and continues to direct and star in films. He tells me his next project will be a film about the Purple Heart and he hopes to use the USS Alabama as the backdrop, Kim. All right, Darren, thanks.